tops on today? How did uh, how did that kind of add to it? Or Good, you know, so uh, like I said yesterday, just uh, you add more of the run game because you're safer and you're equipped for it, and uh, and with that goes the play action game. So uh, play action pocket pass and. and uh, than the naked game, the, the, you know, the move the pocket stuff. So, uh, good addition, uh, guys. You know, not a lot of Emmys. Uh, we just got to keep refining what we're what we're teaching, and, 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 and then obviously our execution. Do you get a sense of how this team can tackle at this point? Uh, I think it's a team right now that uh, you know is bending really well. Uh, they're trying to do the the little things, Matt. Um, when we're not in pads, which you can really develop bad habits, and I think they've made a commitment to that. And, and uh, you know when they, uh, you know when they consistently do that, then you give them trust and you don't have to bang them as much. So, again, I think uh, we're tackling a lot in compartmentalized situations, so we're safe. But uh, you know, the tackling isn't where it needs to be right now. I promise you. After the first day on the field. Now, can you talk about Darian Owens a little bit? I think he's gotten a lot bigger, right? He's big. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's 240 now, and uh, he, you know he's strong. Um, He's great output, uh, really works hard. He does. He's a, he's a hard worker and a relentless player. Al, uh, Ryan Mays, Jaquan, how is their uh, progress yeah. and when do you expect them back fully? Yeah, again, I mean, it's day to day right now. They're, they're both, uh, you know, they're both, uh, they're close. You know, they're starting to do some things. And uh, so it's really just a, you know, it's nothing, I don't think it's anything significant. We just don't want it to become chronic where, we're talking about this two weeks from now, but they're both in, they're both in good shape and they're doing a good job. Is it upper body with both of them? Or uh, no, it's uh, uh, one hamstring and and, uh, and one kind of, for lack of a better word, bone bruise or tendonitis. So hamstring with, with uh, Jaquan. Rico. I'm sorry. Yeah, with my, with Mays and then the other one, Jaquan is more like a, a bone bruise, tendonitis type thing. Okay. How has Trevor Darling looked at left tackle? Better. Yeah, he's leaner. We got to challenge him to stay lean and stay quick. Um, he's stronger than he was a year ago, obviously. And again, he played a lot of football for us. Sometimes we glance over that, um, but he played a lot of football and he's a returning starter and a returning, you know, veteran for us. And he's just got to stay lean and, and continue to do the little things right. But I'm, I'm pleased with him and got a good competition over there right now with him, him and KC. You probably look for a cohesion on the line, you know, all throughout camp. But is there a point where you really need to start dialing it in? And no, your five or... nope. Even today, uh, I, Alex Gall, I moved Alex into center and moved Nick out the guard for about six or seven plays just to make sure we're creating depth and not getting too comfortable. It's too early to get like that. We're, we're working with 12 right now, primarily. And, um, you know, again, we've been as little as seven going into his game and as, as many as 10. So like to get it down to, to 10 by the time we get into, into the season. Can you talk about the depth of the uh, safety group? Seems like there's some, finally some health yeah, and experience. There is, there, there is. And Rashawn makes a big difference. His health, his explosion, his range. And he's just a mature, more, so much more mature than he was a year ago. I'm really proud of him. And, um, you know, Dallas, uh, can't say enough about him as a leader. And, you know, Dion is the most experienced. Um, you know, Jamal, uh, Quan. So it's a, it's a good group. And, and, uh, they take a lot of the pressure and a lot of the burden off each other, and they work really well together. They they communicate well, and it's a tight group. And Jermaine and um, uh, Kirby, mm -hmm. just the tone they're setting with the linebackers, what have you seen? Yeah, high, high standards. Uh, Kirby's the best at communication and uh, preparation, and I know we're in college, but being a pro, like, he's a pro. You know, he's a super vet, and uh, he's a guy that uh, does what champions do, you know, and he's got to elevate everybody around him. And... Uh, and uh, he's brought Grace a really long way in a short period of time, and I'm, I'm pleased with uh, Grace's effort and maturity and approach. That, that's a big difference than his freshman year. Al, I remember you said last year that Grace needed to do a little more film study yep. and a little more prep. Is, yep. can, is, is that what you're saying? That's is exactly he... what I'm saying. He's really made a commitment to that side of the game and the smarter, more disciplined side. He was better conditioned already. He was tough, uh, but he's really made a commitment to that, that side of it. I'm really proud of him. Uh, just a great young man and excited and those guys are elevating the play of the guys behind them, JY and CJ and Gayot and all those guys, so it's good. Now with Willis, um, is there any chance he could still play this year? Or? I don't believe so. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't, we're not counting on that. So um, just trying to get him indoctrinated and, and inculcated to what we want to do and how we do it. And, and it gets difficult coming when he came. And so we just, we just got to get him just, you know, the structure, the discipline, the love. Uh, the unity and, and everybody surround them and, and, and try to make them better. And they're, they're doing that. 
they're doing that, and uh, I'm glad he's here. You might still bring in another transfer. Is that still possible? Uh, I don't know. I mean, anything's possible, but I don't. I don't think we're in the market right now. We're pretty pretty locked right now, to be honest with you. A couple more questions. Uh, how the the tight ends just from the look? You know, they look bigger, stronger. Yeah. You look like you have you know more depth. Yeah, we certainly. do. How, how is that going to change? the way you're going to be able to play call or game plan this Yeah, week. I mean, uh, you know, we lost a great one, but we might be a better position overall, if that makes sense. So um, it's kind of Noah's Ark. You know, we have two of everything now, right? We have two Ys, two Hs, you know, two move guys, uh, two guys that can flex. So uh, that wasn't always the case last year. Uh, Chris was getting there, but he was a freshman. But I think with Chris and David doing what they're doing, Jerome's made the biggest jump in the offseason, just uh, his quickness and his body control and the game slowing down. So, uh, you know, Jake's been having a great camp so far, really pleased with his performance. So, again, uh, you know, we like to play with multiples, and uh, the more that those guys can do, the more pawns you have, you know, so to speak. It's a chessboard. So, those guys can do a good job for us.